Thank you for thinking of running for a school board position. I ran for the school board because I felt our local schools and teachers were under attack. Figure out why you're running. Do you want to be of service or is there something you want changed? I started my run for office not knowing anything about the process. I don't recommend that to anyone. If I were to run again, I would start my campaign at least a year before the election so that I can get a team together and to make sure my family is on board. Starting a year before the election also gives you time to go to school board meetings so you can get an idea of how they are run and what issues are brought up during public comment. You should consider attending PTA, PTO meetings to get your name out and to hear community voices. Consider reaching out to the leadership of the classified and credentialed employee unions to get their perspective on school issues and see if they would support you. Also, attend as many school and community functions as possible. Another reason to start early is to raise money. Running for any public office, even a school board one, costs money, so you need to fundraise. This is where you need a campaign team, which should include someone who can handle money and file all state and county forms by the due dates. You need someone with marketing experience to handle traditional and social media posts. You also need to line up volunteers closer to the election to help you put up signs and to walk in neighborhoods to hand out materials. I know walking can be daunting, but it is worth it. I didn't talk to many people, but the ones I talked to told me they would vote for me because I was only one running for office who came in person. And please remember to reach out to your local Northern Solano, Solano Democratic Club to take advantage of the knowledge of the members. Good luck and be true to yourself and honest in your communications.